Hey, Gifted Crafters, welcome back to my channel. Are you having issues getting those seams nice and flat? I'm gonna demo two items that are gonna help you get those seams really flat, just the way you like it when you're doing your quilting projects. So let's get started. So first off, I like to use my tailor's clapper. This is like my best friend when I'm doing my quilting. It really does wonder, wonders to hold those seams nice and flat when you're doing your ironing. But I did get this new product. It's called Magic Quilting and Crafting Spray. And I have a small bottle. It's only three ounces, but I did get this from my Missouri Star Christmas box. And I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. So let's take a look at how my seams holds in place when I'm using the spray versus when I'm not using the spray. Let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going to take something that I just sewed together with a quarter inch seam allowance. So it's just two fabrics that I threw together. One's a little bit shorter than the other. And what I'm going to do is press the seam open. So this is what we want to get. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to finger press this just a little bit here. And I'm gonna do one side of it with just the tailor's clapper and then the other side with the spray, quilting and crafting spray and the tailor's clapper together. And let's see which one holds up better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Hold this down. Now my iron is nice and hot. So I'm gonna go ahead, iron that down. Get my tailor's clapper and I'll go ahead and hold that in place. Now this tailor's clapper is amazing. It will absorb all of the steam to hold down your seams. So it just takes a few seconds and then you can just take it right off. And as you can see, it is holding it in place. And let me just lift this up for you. You can see that it is nice and flat. Now let's do the other side. And with the other side, I'm going to be using the quilting and crafting spray. So go ahead and open this up, give it a little shake, and just gonna finger press this down and give it a couple squirts. I'll just give it a little bit to dry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finger press this. And let's try this again. Let's use the Taylor's clapper to hold that steam down. And Let's take a look at the results. Well, this is the side that used the quilting and crafting spray with the tailor's clapper. And this is the side that used just the tailor's clapper. And I'm gonna kind of move this a little bit. Now I can see that the spray did hold it down a little bit more than when I just used the clapper itself. So, I do see it more flat on this side. So I definitely would give this quilting and crafting spray a thumbs up. I think it does make a difference when you're using the spray versus when you're just using the clapper. Now let's give it one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and iron the whole thing. And I'm gonna put the clapper on the entire strip. Take it off. See if you could see the difference on the camera. Now flip it around. They're pretty flat on both sides, but it is very, very minimal. You can barely see it, and I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. It does lift just a tiny bit on the side that's just using the clapper versus the spray, it is really holding down nicely. So I would definitely recommend using the quilting spray, but um, I can tell you that the clapper does work really fine as well. So it's really a matter of preference, but if you really wanna make sure 
that those seams stay solid, then I would definitely recommend using the spray. Thanks for watching and I hope to be crafting with you soon. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos.